Hi alle zusammen, hello everyone. Today we will talk about quantity adjectives in Norwegian. In Norwegian there are several commonly used quantity adjectives. Some adjectives complement countable nouns, while others complement uncountable nouns. When using quantity adjectives in Norwegian, it is critical to understand the distinction between countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns refers to um, individual objects or people that can be counted. When using quantity adjectives with countable nouns, words like mange, 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 many, and noen, 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 some are used. For example, there are mange böcker på bordet. There are mange böcker på bordet. There are mange böcker på bordet. There are many books on the table. Han har noen venner i byen. Han har noen venner i byen. Han har noen venner i byen. He has some friends in the city. Uncountable nouns represent substance or conceptable concepts or qualities that cannot be counted. To describe the number of uncountable nouns, words like mye, 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 much, and lite, 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 little are used. For example, der mye vann i glasset. Der mye vann i glasset. Der mye vann i glasset. There is much water in the glass. Hun har lite tålmodighet. Hun har lite tålmodighet. Hun har lite tålmodighet. She has little patience. When using quantity adjectives in Norwegian, it is vital to consider both the gender and number, singular or plural, of the noun. The following general rules apply. Masculine and feminine nouns. Singular, the adjective uh, remains unchanged. Plural, the adjective takes the plural form, typically by adding e, e, e. Examples, en stor hun, en stor hun, en stor hun, a big dog, masculine singular. Mange store hunder. Mange store hunder. Mange store hunder. Many big dogs, masculine, plural. Ei stor katt. Ei stor katt. Ei stor katt. A big cat, feminine, singular. Mange store katter. Mange store katter. Mange store katter. Many big uh, cats, feminine, plural. Neuter nouns. Singular, the adjective takes the neuter form, often by adding t, t, t. Plural, the adjective takes the plural form, typically by adding e. Eh, eh. For example, et stort hus, et stort hus, et stort hus. One big house, neuter singular. Noen store hus, noen store hus, noen store hus. A few big houses, neuter plural. In conclusion, the agreement of gender and number for quantity adjectives in Norwegian is a crucial aspect of the language that learners must grasp to communicate effectively. By understanding the three grammatical genders, uh, their respective articles, and the rules for singular and plural adjective forms, speakers can ensure accuracy and fluency in the use of quantity adjectives.
working with the indefinite and definite forms of quantity adjectives. Norwegian quantity adjectives can be indefinite or definite. The indefinite form is used with the indefinite nouns, while the definite form is used with definite nouns. For example, indefinite and stor hun. En stor hun. En stor hun. A big dog. Definite. Den store hunden. Den store hunden. Den store hunden. The big dog. Using cardinal numbers at quantity adjectives. Cardinal uh, numbers, in addition to standard quantity adjectives, can express quantity in Norwegian. Cardinal numbers such as one, two, three, and so on indicate the exact number of items or people. To use cardinal numbers as quantity adjectives, place the cardinal number before the noun to indicate the specific number of items or people. For example, Jeg har to søster. Jeg har to søster. Jeg har to søster. I have two sisters. Han læste fire bøger i ferien. Han læste fire bøger i ferien. Han læste fire bøger i ferien. He read four books during the vacation. Apart from the basic quantity adjectives, other terms are used to describe the quantity of nouns in Norwegian. Positive and negative quantity adjectives. Positive quantity adjectives uh, emphasize something's presence or abundance, whereas negative quantity adjectives emphasize its absence or scar uh, scarcity. Uh, as an example, Positive, flare, 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 more. Negative, farre, 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 fewer. Comparative and superlative forms. Quantity adjectives in Norwegian can also have comparative and superlative forms. You can use these forms to compare the number of different items or groups. Um, as an uh, example here, for the comparative, flera, 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 more, and superlative, flest, 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 most. Understanding how to use quantitative adjectives in Norwegian for effective communication is critical. In the discussion today, we have provided an in-depth look at common quantity adjectives, the usage rules and the agreement with gender and number. Understanding how to use these uh, adjectives correctly will allow you, allow you to describe quantities in Norwegian conversations more effectively. As you continue to learn and practice Norwegian, pay close attention to the various types of quantity adjectives and their uh, appropriate usage. With time and effort, you can confidently express quantities in Norwegian, making your conversation more engaging and uh, more precise. Understanding how to use these adjectives correctly will allow you to describe quantities in Norwegian conversations more effectively. Do you want to learn more Norwegian? We are now offering a free Norwegian trial class. Sign up for a free trial class by going to our website nlsnorwegian.no nlsnorwegian.no